You right there, ladies and gents. How's it going? Just doing a short little video today. I don't know whether it all goes straight to Facebook or if it will make it up onto the tube of views. We shall see. We shall see in DDD. But why? What is it I'm doing that's worthy of being recorded today? Well, I'm using my new Insta360 ONE X2 for the first time. Keep that one. Rubber side. Down. See yes. First time using it, seeing how it performs compared to the One X, the original, and the One R, um, and the GoPro Max. I mean, I have all of them now. Uh, I don't know how long I'll have all of them for. Um, one thing I do like that the One X2 does that the One X original didn't is it's got their similar modes to the hero mode that the uh, uh, the GoPro Max has um, and that's something I'm really looking forward to playing with at some point in the future I don't know whether it comes in at any better bitrate than uh, when you're using the twin lens version or mode of the One X2 um, but we shall see uh, how it all kind of comes out uh, but it does have some nice options and it does offer 120 fps i believe at 1080 which is kind of quite interesting all the traffic all the traffic now although the one x2 has got a bunch of fancy pants uh fancy old things that it can do compared to the one x the original i'm not hugely interested in many of the extra things it can do i don't really care about the screen to be honest it's a nice thing but i'd rather have paid less considering the camera isn't really anything more than a reshaped 1R really it's just a non-modular 1R I'm not disappointed with the camera uh, not at all uh, the reason I got this even though I've got all the others was not because it's going to be stupidly better uh, image quality or anything like that although I believe it will be better than the original 1X anyway um, I got it because it's waterproof and it's got the form factor of the One X, which I far prefer. I don't really think I'm going to bother, even if they update the One R with uh, One R2 or whatever they want to call it, or different modules and stuff like that. Um, um, I, I just don't see the point in it. I'm not interested in their action cameras. They don't seem to be able to make them as well as GoPro can. Uh, so their 4K mod was just a bit pointless. My GoPros are better. And uh, I don't really need two cameras in one with the way they've done that so I, I, the, the one r is, is kind of a pointless camera for me um although i do still use it uh, the 360 camera on there is still very good and it's quite handy having that one for my dirty off-road shenanigans uh and i'm going to use this one mainly on the road which means the one x is potentially spare uh i don't know whether i'll sell it or not who knows who knows we shall have to see um but yes you might just hang around it's quite handy for track days you see um, and because I don't do any mega fancy editing or spinny roundy the world things and all that sort of tiny planet stuff um, my editing workflow when I do it on PC is actually quite straightforward um, I, I generally put it in one direction and uh, as long as it doesn't go do lally with the accelerometers I kind of like leave it at that I very much can't wait for the next generation of 360 degree cameras for uh, the consumer because I think there will be quite something. I think we're going to have to wait for um, a progression in memory cards and PCs. I think my PC would be able to handle doing 8K and stuff like that. I think it would be able to handle it. Uh, but then I've got quite an expensive PC. So, um, yes, this isn't a first impressions, it's just a first go. It's just so I can see whether it works, whether it does what I need it to do and all that sort of stuff. And it's kind of quite interesting that it's uh, the evening now, or coming up for the evening. So it allows me to see how it performs in lower light. It's not dark by any means, but you, I can see my headlight on the ground in front of me. So it's obviously darker than bright, that's for sure. I do love this little ride home, it's nice. And 
30 miles per hour please thank you very much oh i'm so glad i specced in the uh, heated grips on this bike <laughs> even with my uh wintry gloves i've got cold fingers already but with them heated grips at least the insides of my hands are nice and toasty i definitely think i need to get the uh, extended hand guards on this they shall uh, very much help keep the outside of my fingers a bit warmer or maybe look again some heated gloves even i don't know all the tech eh? all the tech so anyway what do you think of this 360 degree camera footage then is it better than what you've seen from me previously um it's hard to tell because it's not identical conditions to other places i've ridden and light conditions and all that sort of stuff so it's not really a brilliant comparison i guess especially as I haven't put any of that footage up next door to this. Just from what you remember, I guess, is all I'm asking. I very much love this 360 technology. I think it's fantastic. And uh, as a motor vlogger, it, it, it just adds that element of magic. Now, getting your mounts right is key. You've got to make sure your mounts are in the right places and uh, aren't vibrating around too much. And I don't know if I've even managed to sort that or not yet, because uh, I haven't really done much playing around with it, especially on this motorcycle. I'm actually using uh, crawl mounts on everything now, on the bike, instead of the ram mounts. Uh, although the crawl mount on that 360 camera behind me, that's actually got a ram mount in between intermediate bit that links it all together. Um, but yeah, it just grabs onto the side of the bike, onto the frame. That's one of the things I love about this bike as a motor vlogger. It's got loads of frame bits that you can put things on. So I'm very much looking forward to playing around with different positions and stuff like that. I'm sure I'm going to be able to get some stuff that I wasn't able to before just because I've got so many more mounting options on this bike. Although this bike has got ABS and traction control and all that, I still haven't got my confidence back after coming off my beta on the tarmac that was wet so i'm really very much feeling on edge on eggshells talking of uh walking on eggshells or whatever it is um there's a youtube channel cool Walk, riding on eggshells walking on eggshells something like that um i'll link to it maybe <laughs> um, they're really good <laughs> anyways i look like i'm about to catch up with all them cars up ahead so i guess i should go really shouldn't i don't forget to let me know below if you like this footage from this camera if you think it's any better um or just even if you you just like the 360 technology i think it's wonderful personally if you haven't done so already do click that subscribe button it'd be awesome to have you come back for some more and uh if you like this video why not give it a little thumbs up a thumbs up yes we like them we like them a lot and if you didn't you can always give it a little thumbs down that's okay that's all cool in the school we don't mind at all but whatever you do please do drop in a comment i love hearing from you anyhow you ride safe take care and i shall catch you all in the next one but bye for now Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down. <laughs>